Hey everybody, I'm uh, back again to do another viewer request. I've been getting a lot of these lately and I encourage them, bring them on. Um, today somebody wanted to do an, uh, a hockey stick or something ice age, uh, ice hockey related. So um, I'm going to make a, a little um, hockey player holding a hockey stick because a hockey stick is pretty easy. I don't think there's <coughs> anything difficult using that. So we're going to be going to do a ice hockey guy, I guess, um, ice hockey player with the hockey stick. So <coughs> you can use, <coughs> excuse me, um, you can use any colors you want. I'm just going to use uh, black for, um, I guess, the legs. We're going to use, uh, uh, let's see, I guess blue for the arms and the, uh, the body um, and uh, gray for the blades for the skates but uh, and then brown for the hockey stick. So um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the, oh uh, well, you know, let's start with the arms. So Let's take a blue, uh, blue 260. Blow it up to about five finger lengths on the end. Mm. Yeah, that should work. We'll try it. We'll attempt it. All right. So the first thing you want to do is make a, a one-inch bobble and make an ear twist. Okay. Make another one-inch bobble, or maybe a little bit smaller than an inch. Make another ear twist, so you have something that looks like that. Sorry about the lighting in here. I'm definitely gonna get better lights so you can actually see what I'm doing. Maybe if I get a little closer to the camera here. Um, this is gonna be the hand. Then let's do uh, two finger legs and one inch bubble. Ear twist that. Okay. Um, let's see. And I guess that should be it. Um, oh no, you know what we can do? Uh, two finger lengths, make another one inch bubble. I'm sorry, yeah, make two, make a twist, make another one inch bubble. And this is going to be basically his his arm, okay, forearm, regular arm. This will be his shoulder, so you're going to make another two inch bubble. And make a loop twist now. After you do that one inch bubble, you'll, you'll make a loop twist. And uh, two finger loop twist, squeeze. And finish it up the same, two inch bubble. Make a one inch, uh, one inch bubble, ear twist it. Okay. Do another two inch bubble. Another one inch bubble and ear twist it. Now we're running out of room. Um, on the end, you want to make another two inch bubble. And uh, you know what? We'll just do one two inch bubble, a one inch bubble, and ear twist it. Okay. Now you have something that looks like this. This is gonna actually be good for a Spider-Man. But uh, that's yeah, something looks like that, okay? Uh, then what we wanna do now is take another light blue. Let me make the body. Pull it up about halfway. I'm just gonna make a bird body. So we'll go down about three finger lengths. Nah, it's probably like, uh, probably like four. Three to four finger lengths to make a twist. Come down, twist that nozzle in, put that nozzle through, lock it into place, come back up, three finger lengths, take another twist, and you're gonna roll it through. That's called the bird body. Okay, now you have something that looks like that. <clears throat> just going to um, <clears throat> take the nozzle out of one end here and just gonna wrap it around the neck. Stick it in there, through the body, around the head, and now you have something that looks... <clears throat> guess it's coming out sort of the way I want it. <clears throat> something that looks like that, okay? Um, this is going to end up being ripped off, we're going to leave it that, like that for now. Let's make the legs. Take your black 260, blow it up about four or five finger legs. That should be enough. We got here. We have about six finger lengths, okay? That should be okay. Uh, let's make a come down about three fingers, make a twist, make a one inch bubble. Here, twist that bubble, okay? Um, come up about, uh, let's see, three finger lengths, make another one inch bubble, and here, twist that bubble. All right? Something like that, okay? Or that. 
Come back two finger links, make a twist. Another two finger links, make a twist. Then make a one inch bubble. And then when it ear twist that bubble. Okay. If you let go, it's probably going to become undone. That's okay, just split it right in the middle again. Okay, now you're going to take that twist that we just made and we're going to attach the body to that middle twist. So we'll take the body and just twist that in here. <laughs> I don't know, he's looking kind of crazy. This guy's looking crazy, man. Uh, Alright, so you have something that looks like that. I'm just going to come down the same length as over here, which is about three fingers. Make a twist. Make a one inch bubble. Make another ear twist. And then I'm uh, just going to measure these last two here and squeeze it just so it's the same size, about three finger lengths. Twist that, and we're going to break that off and tie it. I don't know if it's coming out the way I planned it in my head, but we're this far. I'm not stopping every recording. So, I tend not to do that on almost any of my videos. Okay, let's just get this tail out of here. Now he's just like a freak looking thing. But I'm going to just uh, break off that uh, excess blue there, tie it, and then wrap it back into the body so it doesn't come out. Freak! Alright. Alright, so. We're going to take a gray 260 and just attach it here to make it look like an ice skate. So let's blow it up about... Just a little bit. I don't know. We'll attach the bottom of your foot here. We're going to attach it right to that ear twist. We'll make a... We'll wrap that nozzle around. I guess it, it actually worked better if you had a 160 here. I should have used that, but um, I'm just going to make like a little loop there and tie that in. So you have something that looks like that. Okay, can you see that right with the light? Um, then we'll uh, break this off and tie it, and then we're going to blow it up again to do the other side. I'm just going to tie this in uh, so it doesn't come undone. Not tying. Okay, there we go. Uh, blow up your end of the other 260 again. About the size of the skate size. Do the same exact thing. We'll take our nozzle and put it on the other ear twist here on the other side of the foot. Come back up and tie that together. Tie that in, get rid of this excess scrap here. That, just take care of that. Alright, so we got sort of like an ice skater. Oh, my his shoulder came undone. Let me just fix that. Alright, here we go. Let's put this guy, let's put a, uh, a stick in his hand. Okay, so take your mocha brown and blow it up. Just about halfway. We're gonna probably end up breaking it off anyway. Take your nozzle, and we're gonna stick it into his, his left hand, or his right hand actually, uh, right in the middle of those two ear twists. Okay. Gonna come down about uh, three finger lengths or so. And then we're going to twist that into his other hand here. Okay? See that? Alright, and then I um, guess we'll just make a... Come back two finger lengths down, make a one inch bubble there. See that? And... I, I'm sorry. Two finger links down, make a twist, then make a one inch bubble. Oopsie. All right, and then we will 
come about two, uh, two to two and a half finger lengths. Make another twist and then break this off and tie it. Okay. Now you should have something that resembles a hockey stick, I think. There you go. So here is my, just gotta straighten everything out and make it look proper. But um, here's uh, your, your hockey player. If you hold this here, I guess you just stick it down there. There you go. You have your hockey player. Um, ice skates. Okay. I don't know. Uh, there's your uh, ice hockey themed boon. All right. Hope you like it. You can make this. Uh, if you do, you probably can make it pretty quick. Um, if you're not explaining it or do it a few times. But uh, there you go. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what else you want to see, and uh, I'll see you on the.